I miss being here and feeling the island vibes and feeling the aloha from start to finish on this carpet. It really feels like a coming home. But also, also the chihus. We own that. That is our way of saying hip hip hooray. It has nothing to do with the, the movie or the song, so expect a lot more of that tonight. <laughs> This time around, we have all new villains, all new monsters, all new songs, and these are things that should really be shared. So bring your friends, see it in a theater where you can feel the music in your bones. That's how I like to watch movies anyway, and feel free to sing along. This is the kind of Disney movie to do that to. Moana 2 is back and better than ever. I'm so excited for people to see it. And so to be able to come here and it's our, it's a global premiere of Moana and a lot of people around the world who are excited to see it. I got my family here, a lot of people flew in, it's awesome. Tonight, here, here we are under the lights and you hear the music in the background, it's paradise, it's crazy. Moana 1 and Moana 2, in many respects, pay homage to the people of the Pacific Islands. And it was only fitting that we have a premiere in the Pacific Islands, of course. This is a means of us showing respect and, and actually thanking people, too, for their contributions. Well, first of all, uh, the story lends itself to a big screen in many respects. And again, it can go back to where it takes place in these vast, vast places in the Pacific uh, that many people have never even been to. And I think because of the sheer scale of those islands and those lands, the big screen is the only place that that story, that scale can really be depicted. I play Shimei, I'm Moana's little sister, and I like playing her because I don't have an older sister, so it was nice playing a baby sister. I'm so excited for this day to finally come because this, this film, in, we worked on the first Moana together, and so to be able to come together and produce Moana 2 together has been a dream for me. Um, but I am so excited for the world to see it and to see the work of all the amazing artists who have worked on it. Um, I can't wait for, the world, for, the, for, un, for us to release it to the world. I mean, I almost want to say ditto. Like Yvette said, it's such an honor to work with her on this. We actually met and became friends on the first film. So to actually see how our friendship has grown over the last eight years too, and to now be able to produce this film with her, it's an honor of a lifetime. What I love about this film is now she's bringing a crew with her. And so people, we all connect to Moana and her struggles and her journey. But now we have different people. We have Loto, the engineer. We have Moni, the storyteller. We have Kele, who is, probably just a bit of a grouch but really one of my favorite characters because I love him so much um, and so I think everyone is going to find themselves in this film. <laughs> There's such a rich cultural heritage here and it's so rare for us to have a global premiere anywhere that isn't kind of a major city like LA or New York and it just felt so fitting to have the premiere here. Um, you know what, one of my favorite memories is our first meeting, uh, our official meeting with Emily, with Barlow and Bear, Emily and Abigail. We came in and we were ready to launch them with the song. We had given, told them a little bit about the song before and they said, okay, we're going to have a meeting, we're going to talk about it, and we're going to officially launch you. And they are like, they came in the meeting and they are like, we wrote a little something. And they played We're Back and it was perfect from day one. I will say for me, this is the place where I found myself. It's where I went to film school. It's the first place where I showed up as a mixed Samoan person and found a community that really understood what it meant to be me. So to come back here, having co-written and directed Moana 2 is such a surreal full circle moment. And as I'm talking to you, people I went to film school with, all of my friends in my community are here. So it's, it's a homecoming in a really special way. We have lots of friends in Moana that are very much rooted from Hawaii, so it makes perfect sense to be here. It's absolutely incredible out here, and to celebrate the Pacific culture here in Hawaii is amazing. It's been so incredible. We have gone on a voyage with Moana, and it's been four years in the making, and now we get to share it with everyone. And I hope everyone will, will learn the same thing that Moana does, that we never stop choosing and discovering who we are in life. It looks incredible. Every single frame is a, it's almost like a painting out coming alive. And it's fun, it's funny. The music is absolutely incredible. I'm so proud of the songs in this. So that's a couple of things. What else you all got? I would say the scale is bigger, yeah. the stakes are higher, and the depths of the emotion go to places that we've never seen Moana go to before, or Maui. And it's a movie about connection and community. And that's what I love about watching movies, is we watch them with other people. Sometimes we don't even know them, and we have a shared experience together. So go see it in the theater. Yeah. 
Honestly, it's the most gratifying, amazing thing in the world. You know, I think there's so many people that worked on this movie. Everybody had to come together to make this possible. It's easily the most epic, spectacular movie we've ever done. To be seeing it here at a world premiere with the Pacific Ocean behind us is an absolute dream come true, and I cannot wait for everyone to see it tonight. Well, I'd say uh, for both the first Moana movie and for Moana 2, um, it's a celebration of all the people of the Pacific. Uh, and uh, the Pacific is uh, something that connects these islands versus separates. And that's something that's always been a part of our story. You see it here. You're hearing it right now. Um, and to me, I think being here to celebrate this, uh, we've never done it before. I've, nev I've never had a world premiere outside of Los Angeles. So to do it here with the community itself, um, to me, uh, I think it, I would, I'm very much looking forward to celebrating with everybody. I initially thought, oh, we're going to be in LA, Hollywood, the Walk of Fame, the stars, but I think this is where we're supposed to be. You know, there may be the stars on the Walk of Fame in LA, but here in the Pacific, the stars are up here. It's our ancestors, it's those of the past, and they get a chance to celebrate with us. Oh, I'm just getting chicken skin thinking about it, Ronald. Yeah. I think oftentimes we feel like maybe we're all divided, we're separate, whether that's islands who feel like we have borders based on the shores or countries based on borders. But I think with Moana 2, we realize we're all connected. The ocean is just a highway to the next island, you know, and how connected we are linguistically, culturally. And that's not just in the Pacific. I think that truly is around the world. I would love for them to remember their history and that your ancestors are always there to help guide you. But there is an adventure that is just for you to take us somewhere better into the future. Oh man, this movie, this entire story of Moana has been so big for our people, not only of Hawaii, but of the entire Pacific. So not only to be part of this film, but to celebrate the film back home here with our local communities is something that, that words can't simply describe. You know, one of the most beautiful things and one of the things I'm so grateful for, you know, I'm of native Hawaiian descent and my father always raised us to, to really believe that, you know, I'm not Hawaiian, I am Polynesian of Hawaiian descent. And um, to see the film come out and encompass all of the Pacific, you know, not just Polynesia, but, you know, Micronesia, Melanesia, and then to have it here where, you know, Hawaii is somewhat of the melting pot of the South Pacific and of the Pacific, where we see so many cultures intertwine. It's such a collective effort and it's such a, a, a nice harmonious experience to just see everything come together. You know, one of the beautiful parts of, of Moana 2 in relation to Moana 1 is like there are so many new characters. So this idea of community, of, of, of heart, of loyalty to your ohana, your family, so on and so forth, is so much grander in this film. And, you know, I think there's a little bit of the film that everybody will really connect with and take in their heart. Um, and on top of that, the music is amazing. You know, there's songs that everybody will start singing together and start jamming together that um, I can't wait for everybody to see. I mean, just the sound of the wind going through the palm fronds, like, you get why this inspired a movie as beautiful as Moana, so. I concur. I mean, look at the sunset. It's so beautiful. Uh, I couldn't ask for a better place to be celebrating it. I'm really excited for them to experience a spectacle, but with, like, heart, because that's, I think that's our MO, is that we always want our musical theater to be an immersive experience and have the songs be epic and amazing and suck you in, but also have the root of the song be like a deeply human thing, so. I'm excited for fans to see a, a Disney heroine grow and age. It's like the first time we've ever been able to see that. And Moana goes on a crazy epic adventure unlike anything she's ever faced in this movie. We grew up with these, this music, we are the Disney generation, and we did not, we, want, we just wanted to do it justice, and we do not take this responsibility lightly at all, so. Yeah. And like you said, we grew up with it, it was the soundtrack of our lives, so to be part of that legacy, it's every songwriter's dream. We're in Honolulu, Hawaii, and it's so special because this is where the community comes from. So to be here in this incredible setting, right on the beach, is amazing, absolutely amazing. One of the things I love about this film is the emotion of it. It really is um, an incredibly emotional film, especially as it builds up, and the relationship between Maui and Moana is, is just incredible. So I think people will be excited to see the two of them back on the big screen again. It's spectacularly beautiful. The scenery is amazing. It's epic in its scale. It's funny. Who and Hei Hei are just incredibly funny throughout the film. The relationship between you know, Maui and Moana is amazing. Plus you get the additional crew that comes on. I think it has something for everybody. I'm really excited for the world to get to see it. What was special about this was the first one, we really didn't know what we were do getting. We didn't know what, what Moana really was musically. 
we had done We Know the Way together. That was one of the first things we did together, the three of us. And, and this one was kind of like, okay, now we have established what the music is, but we need to make this feel like she's more grown up, much more uh, adult, I guess, is one way to put it. Uh, so that Moana being now 23, whatever she is, 22, 23, the musically we wanted it to kind of be grown up also. Well, with this one here, the concept of uh, bringing the, all the islands together as one family, that was my, you know, I, I love that concept, so it drove me along. Well, just that Moana is such a worthy um, role model, you know, for, for kids to, to look up to and, and follow. So, you know, what more can you say, you know? Auli is just a fantastic, you know, I mean, she's just amazing.